Hi. Let's learn about Distributed Ledger Technology, DLT. Distributed Ledger Technology is the technological infrastructure and protocols that allow simultaneous access, validation, and record updating across a networked database. DLT is the technology blockchains are created from, and the infrastructure allows users to view any changes and who made them, reduces the need to audit data, ensures data is reliable, and only provides access to those that need it. Distributed computing is not new, businesses and governments have been using the concept for several decades. In the 1990s, it became possible for multiple computers and users in different locations to solve problems and return the solutions to a central location. Advances in data science, computing, software, hardware, and other technologies have made ledgers much more capable. Computer and data scientists developed programs that reduced the need for auditing data and used automation and data encryption techniques to verify database transactions or changes in a database's state. DLTs allow information to be stored securely and accurately using cryptography. Every device on a distributed ledger network stores a copy of the ledger. These devices are called nodes, a network can have any number of nodes. Any changes to the ledger, such as moving data from one block to another, are recorded across all nodes. If the network reaches a consensus about the validity of the latest ledger, the transactions are finalized, encrypted, and used as a basis for the following transactions. This is how blockchains develop, each block contains encrypted information about the preceding block, which makes them impossible to change. Distributed ledgers are created for many different purposes, but one of the most used ways is as a platform for others to scale and use. Some industries that have implemented DLT solutions include aviation, education, healthcare, insurance, manufacturing, transportation, and utilities. Supply chains can benefit greatly from DLT. Many factors make them inefficient, inaccurate, and susceptible to corruption or losses. Fujitsu, a global data and information technology company, has designed distributed ledger technology to enhance supply chain transparency and fraud prevention by securing and tracking data. DLT holds many benefits over more traditional centralized ledger systems. DLT is a decentralized system, so there is no central point of control or failure, making it more resilient to attacks and less vulnerable to system-wide failures. DLT allows for transparent access to data and transactions, which can lead to greater buy-in from users due to transparency and accountability of records. DLT can streamline processes by removing intermediaries and automating transactions through smart contracts, and it can enable greater financial inclusion. DLT is a decentralized system, making it more resilient to attacks and less vulnerable to system-wide failures. It uses cryptographic algorithms to secure data, reducing the risk of fraud. DLT allows for transparent access to data and transactions, which can lead to greater buy-in from users due to transparency and accountability of records. It can streamline processes by removing intermediaries and automating transactions through smart contracts, and it can enable greater financial inclusion. DLT is complex and difficult to implement and maintain, often requiring specialized knowledge and expertise. It can struggle with scalability as the number of participants and transactions increase, leading to slower processing capabilities or higher costs of use. Some DLTs such as Bitcoin require a significant amount of energy to maintain the network and process transactions, which can have negative environmental impacts. The lack of regulation and standardization in the DLT industry can lead to risk for users and investors, and immutability can be both a strength and a weakness. DLT has the potential to transform how information is recorded, stored, and distributed. It's important for its potential to enhance security, transparency, and accessibility. DLT makes ledgers more resilient to attacks and less vulnerable to system-wide failures and uses cryptographic algorithms to secure data. It allows for transparent access to data and transactions and may eventually be critically important to regions where centralized technologies are limited. 
The consensus mechanism is a central facet of DLT, determining how transactions are approved. Several different processes may be used to review transactions, and they are constantly evolving. Consensus mechanisms are important for allowing users of the DLT to universally agree on which items to include and which to exclude. Blockchain is a specific type of DLT, and DLTs may take various forms, while a blockchain uses a specific infrastructure to record and verify information. Blockchain often leverages a proof-of-work or proof-of-stake consensus mechanism, whereas a DLT has a much broader range of mechanisms available. DLTs are often more broadly used across industries as they can be leveraged for broader problems. DLT is used to securely store data so that it is unaltered, transparent, synchronized, and accurate. This can be extended to counting votes, recording transactions, or reporting activity across all users of a single DLT solution. Each has a different purpose. Blockchain is designed to be public and permissionless, while DLT is intended for private uses and can be permissioned or permissionless. Here are five key takeaways. 1. Distributed ledgers are maintained by a network of nodes, each of which has a copy of the ledger, validates the information, and helps reach a consensus about its accuracy. 2. Distributed ledgers have been around for decades but have become more well-known, researched, used, and developed since Bitcoin was introduced. 3. Distributed ledgers can be used in nearly every industry where data is collected and used. 4. All blockchains are distributed ledgers, but not all distributed ledgers are blockchains. 5. Though DLT enhances accountability, security, and accessibility, it is still complex, difficult to scale, and not subject to strong regulation. Hope this would help, thanks for watching.